Well, you probably guessed where we are now, back in the studio, just welcoming everyone back again. Sorry about the delay, but uh, it takes a while to set up these things. I just want to show you where I'm going to be sitting, squeezing in between that chair and the table in order to sit. And here, by the way, to show you this, that's my tripod for the camera, well, for my phone. And this is what we're going to do next. Okay, it's an amazing magenta rose. And I want to show you this one because it's an exciting painting. The base color will be magenta, okay? And we work up from that with really unusual colors to get that effect. And it's just, it's a fun painting for ye to go with. For me, when I tried to come up with the idea originally, it wasn't fun because I was trying to figure out various colors, you know, that would interact with the magenta base. But as we go along, we'll see all of that, okay? And uh, you may hear, that's my maestro from LA in the background, Brian Schwartz again. Can't get enough of him, his music is amazing. We just want more of Brian all the time. Okay, I'm just gonna lift this up here just to show you. I've already prepared for canvas. Okay, just put that one down over there. And that's all you have to do with your magenta. I didn't bother showing you this, making a movie of this, because you know the routine, tape, masking tape on the edges. And then just, you know, a wash of magenta. If you don't have magenta, use cadmium red. Use cadmium red medium, cadmium red light. Use orange, cadmium orange, you know. Just put a nice bright colour if you don't have the magenta. Or if you have a deep magenta, just add a little bit of white to it. And that'll lighten your magenta and put a wash of that on it. Okay, now I have to set up the camera on this thing with my masking tape, etc. Which I have over here, as you can see. So I'll be back to you shortly. Okay, see you soon.